I really didn't expect that it was going to be split like this necessarily before it, it came to me. And um, my, my thoughts on the issue are, I think all of you and all on both sides of the issues, people have brought up very relevant and very concerning issues. And, and those of you who, who have spoken tonight, I, I like, like the rest of the directors, understand and, and sympathize with the points that you brought up and, and, and things that you have said. My primary concerns around changing the designation of this primarily have to do with its location within our community. It is, it is a, a general, and in my, in my experience of it, it, it is a, a, a general thoroughfare in the heart of our community that is used not just by pet owners, but by cyclists, by walkers of all ages, and, and also, as has been brought up, uh, children of all ages as well. I, I feel areas that allow off-leash use generally tend to be work, work best when they're in an area that does not have so much cross-use amongst all, all different walks of people. And going back to the way that we maintain this area, the fact that it does join two primary park areas for our community also lends to, to that use by all people of, of, of all walks. Regarding the issue of where can off-leash dog owners go, within our community, as, as has been brought up, there are numerous open space areas really on the periphery and on the edges and, and in distance to the park panhandle, there's portions that are really just a stone's throw away. The Queenstone Fire Road I know is one. Another one is uh, a trail that runs parallel uh, behind Appleberry, which is much, much more flat versus the Queenstone Fire Road. And I know that there's even more um, beyond that. The, the biggest issue for me, as Leah and both Isabella have brought up, is the issue of district liability. If, if this has been rather heavily publicized in terms of the amount of consideration that we're taking into this, and knowing that we live in what has become an increasingly more and more litigious society, where anyone can sue anyone over anything. My concern as a district director comes back to if a catastrophic incident were to occur in that area at, at any time in the future, what liability does that open up to, to the district? And, and I think with, with a situation that no one ever wants to have happen, we need to err on, on the side of caution regarding that. So in, in, in that, because of that reasoning, uh, I do feel that I have to vote in favor of, of the motion.